Here we are going to first define post correspondence problem which is also called as PCP and then with the help of an example demonstrate PCP. PCP is a simple problem of undecidability. To understand undecidability, let us look at the type of problems given to our computer systems. Every problem given to the computer systems are divided into two kinds, those that are solvable and those that are not solvable. Solvable problems are those when given to the Turing machines, that is our computer systems, Turing machine halts. Solvable problems are further classified into decidable and undecidable problems. Decidable problems are those for which the Turing machine halts when the answer is yes and also halts when the answer is no. For example, when you want to determine whether input number is a prime number or not, then let us consider the number 3 as input. For this, the Turing machine holds as 3 is a prime number and when given a non-prime number, say 10, the Turing machine says not a prime number and holds. In both the cases, the Turing machine is halting. The other kind of solvable problems are undecidable problems for which the Turing machine will halt if the answer is yes but when the answer is no the Turing machine may or may not halt. PCP is an example of undecidable problem. Let us consider the four tiles as shown. These tiles are called as a collection of dominoes. Each tile consists of a top and a bottom. For example, tile 1 has B on top and CA at the bottom. We need to find a sequence formed by elements on the top similar to the sequence formed by elements present at the bottom of the tile. Say for example, we formed a sequence, we formed a sequence by tiles placed in the order of 4, 3, 2, 1. This is shown here. Then the sequence formed by the elements on the top are A, B, C, C, A, A, B. And the sequence form by elements at the bottom of each tile is C, A, A, B and C, A. We note that the top sequence and the bottom sequence do not match. For PCP, we need to find a finite sequence arrangement of tiles such that the sequence form by the elements on the top must be same as the sequence formed by elements at the bottom. To find this sequence, the tile may be used as many times as we want and may be placed in any order. That is to say that the tiles can be repeated and arrangement can be in any order. Say now if we arrange the tiles 1, 2, 3, 4 but in the order of tile 2 first followed by 1 followed by 3, followed by 2 and followed by 4. Then the sequence form from the top elements is A, B, C, A, 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 B, C. And the sequence form by the elements at the bottom of each tile are A, B, C, A, 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 B and C. This is a sequence where the sequence on top and the sequence of bottom is a match. Hence, we say that a solution is found. PCP is simply a problem to determine whether a collection of dominoes has a match or not. 
the match should be a finite sequence and sometimes if we often find an infinite sequence which leads us to the conclusion that the problem is not solvable or unsolvable let us now consider another example there are three tiles or dominoes tile 1 has 1 0 on top and 1 0 1 at the bottom tile 2 has 0 1 1 on the top and 1 1 at the bottom tile 3 has 1 0 1 on top and 0 1 1 at the bottom now we need to find a matching sequence we cannot begin with tile 2 because the first elements on the top and the bottom do not match similarly we cannot start with tile 3 because the first element of the top of the tile is 1 and the first element at the bottom of the tile is 0 so there is no match so we cannot begin with tile 3 so the only obvious choice is to begin with tile 1 now when we place tile 1 then we get the sequence 1 0 on top and a sequence 1 0 1 at the bottom now we find that 1 at the bottom has no match therefore we need to consider another tile let's say that we go for tile 1 again in this case the top sequence becomes 1 0 1 0 and the bottom sequence becomes 1 0 1 one zero one now this has led to a sequence where two elements at the bottom of the sequence are not having a match therefore considering tile 2 at position 2 uh, is not good we need to do we need to find another solution let's say that we consider tile 1 at the beginning and when we consider that we find one which is unmatched at the bottom we consider tile 2 for the second position in this case if we look at the third position of the bottom and top sequence we find that there is a mismatch the zero which occurs at the third position uh, on the top does not match with the element one which occurs in the bottom sequence so this also has no match or solution so our obvious choice would be left the obvious choice that is left is having this tile placing tile 3 after tile 1 so when we do that we get an extra one at the bottom sequence to match that we can consider once again tile 3 again when we do that we get another one which is extra at the bottom this clearly shows that there is no match or solution for this problem and therefore we can conclude that this problem will always have an unmatched item and will go in and we will get an infinite sequence therefore we can conclude that this problem has no solution thank you